Hello Shining Ones, Magus here on a beautiful day in Asha. Today we're going to talk about the bridge to everything you desire. If you're brand new to this channel, we're Zoroastrians, we are the Magi. Zoroastrianism, the original monotheistic religion. And what we have that the others don't have is the bridge to everything you want. Matter of fact, the word magic was named after the Magi. You might know the Magi from the book of Matthew, the wise men who followed the star. They heard from the loving Father and came and offered gifts and worshipped the Christ, the, uh, the Christ mind, Vohu Menu. Uh, it's a bridge. You know, even in Christianity, you've probably seen where there's like the lost sinner and then there's God, and then there's like this uh, just divide, and then Jesus is that bridge to the loving Father. In Zarathustra's Gothas, it talks about to get to Asha. What is Asha? It's the perfect creator's perfect idea. It's heaven on earth. It's everything you desire, my friends. What is keeping you from it? You need a bridge to it. Right? And what does the Gothas say? What did Zarathustra say? He said, the bridge is Vohumenu, the God mind, because Asha is the perfect creator's perfect thought. To have the perfect creator's perfect thought, you have to have the God mind. Vohumenu is the God mind, the Christ mind, where you and God, your good, are one and there is no separation. Oh my God! If you could see this, nothing is impossible for you. You know, um, let me tell a story. I, I don't think this person will see this. Uh, I won't use names. Absolute tragedy. There was a couple. Sweetest freaking couple you have ever met. They were part of a church that I was a part of, part of this prayer group years ago. And, uh... He got cancer, and he got it bad. He just suffering, my friend. And his his wife at the end uh, said that it was just brutal. She said it was so cruel, right? And and he was he he didn't have that bridge to his healing that he thought he had. He thought he had Jesus that would take him to his desire to to not suffer. But apparently, he didn't have that bridge. He was using the name Jesus, but it didn't work for him. And then it got me thinking, why does it work for me? My God, I, I told you what, just a couple of months ago, I was getting ready to back out of a parking spot. And there would have been a fender bender, but I heard a voice so clear said, do not back out. I knew there would be an accident. So I put it in park, turned off the car, sat there, and the car went speeding behind me, right? And I thought, that guy's trying to hit people. I watched him. He went and ran into another car that was backing out, looking for taillights. Why can I hear that? Why does the name of Jesus work for me and not for him? Why did he have to suffer? My, my, my friends, because they, they have not the Jesus. They got, they got a name, but not the name, not the frequency, not the God mind, not the who made you, not the bridge that takes you to God. And my friends, let me tell you this. God cannot fail. God cannot fail. And when you realize, this is the first page of Asha, when you realize you come from good spirit, I'm made of good spirit. God is in me. I'm in God. This is the Jesus, the message, the word where Jesus said, I am in you. You are in me. I am in my Father. My Father is in me. There's no separation. Me, God, you, one. It's that frequency. Don't matter what religion you say, what name you say, Jehovah, Jesus, Allah, Shiva. It doesn't matter the spoken name. It's the frequency, the spirit behind the name that works. And when you realize God cannot fail and I'm one with God, that means I can't fail fail and I will not fail ever it's an insult to me sickness and disease is an insult to me I won't stand for it poverty lack suffering I won't stand for it I'm a child of light I cannot fail because God and I are one
I am the bridge. We've talked about this. My God, someone get this. The destination and the bridge are the same thing. You want love? You've got to be love. You've got to be the Christ. You've got to be the bridge. When you're the frequency of love, you're instantly taken to it. But you can't beg for health. You got to be health. You got to say, I am divine life. I am divine health. Sickness and disease dies when it touches me. I'm powerful. I'm a magi. That's our magic. My friends, my God, my God. Did someone get something today? Go to the comments. Let me know. I, I want to touch on this. This poor book, the cover's ripped off. This is Asha Come by Magus. And I've been meditating on this. It says, pure light. My seeds of pure light will manifest. The magi are planting the pure light. My friends, the darkness tried to stomp it out. Right? The religions that followed us, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, all the others, right? They have the highest idea of light of God that gets angry, jealous, hate, war, kill men, women, children, send sickness and disease. The world has taken that God, that spirit, that bridge into them. And they wonder why they're at war. They're hateful. They're, they're, they're in depression and misery and suffering because that's the spirit they've taken into us. But the Magi have returned. We are bringing back the message of the all good spirit, the pure light, the God that is just good, unmixed, undefiled, undiluted, pure star light and we're planting the seeds with our words and our energy and with what we are in our very life and there shall be manifestation there shall be a harvest the world will wake up to asha the perfect creator's perfect idea we have brought the bridge we have brought the light we have brought the frequency because asha is my god my god i've been playing around with a little something something here I'm going to put a link here at the end of this video. Should be a little pop-up end screen you can click on. Here's what I'm thinking about. I've been playing with this song, just having fun with it. And uh, I'm thinking about keeping adding on to it. Just let it grow. See where it goes. It may be the longest song in the history of mankind. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I'm feeling. And this is kind of the start of it. My friends, and I'll keep adding, putting on end screens. Uh, let, let me know what you think. It's kind of fun. It's got this fun gothic feel. Uh, the lyrics are powerful. Uh, anyway, guys, th this message was on my heart. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, go to the comments. Let me know. Our book, Asha, Asha by Winston Head. It's 16 statements and teachings inspired by Zarathustra, by the Magi. It's everything. It's everything. This is the good book. How do you know? Because there's no bad in it. Every other religious book that says they're the good book, they got they got stories and energies that that in your heart you feel that's not very good. That's not very God, right? This is pure, pure light, pure starlight. You want some pure starlight? Get this, Asha by Winston Head. And my friend, I'm telling you right now. The more reviews we get on Amazon, I see it every month. We sell more books. If you call yourself a Magi, go leave your review at Amazon for Asha, telling what this book has meant to you. Enjoy this song. Click on it. It should be up there somewhere. I love, love, love you.